circle, not least, all eyes on the pit as we welcome the freestyle phenomenon of Bird City. Standing at 165 centimeters and weighing 72 kilograms, give it up for the one and only Arrow. Representing Burn City, Victoria, standing at 172 centimeters and weighing approximately 65 kgs, is the master of wit and wordplay. Get excited for a debut main event with Eric Devine. Yeah. Divine. Damn, whoever thought it would come to this? Well, by the time that I'm done with him, I'm gonna make sure that he's suffering. I even got a couple methods outlawed by the governments. Old school's in session for Eric, and damn, you ought to be studying, because I'm about to beat this kid to teach him a lesson like corporal punishment. I said, well, you were still working on your grind and progressing? I was battling my demons and fighting depression. And now we're rivals. You eye to eye with a legend. Got him looking for some angels in the sky for a blessing. Shit, we could even use a Bible for reference. It's like Cain and Abel how I'm killing my brother. Eric's in need of divine intervention. Hey, hey, and he's gonna say that I'm short, right? Well, all right. Uh, if he tries to step to me, he's gonna need all kinds of weaponry. Cause I might be shorter than you, but I'm the bigger man on stage tonight. You should have tried to let me be. Cause when the right and left connect, it's a sight you'll never see. I guarantee I'm nowhere near as short as his life expectancy. And right now, I'm content and happy. So whatever you do, Eric, don't get me angry. And if you ever fucking do, you best have a plan B. Because you have kicks coming from everywhere. Have him thinking it's a stampede. Basically what I'm saying is, I'll give Eric another Bluetooth. Hands free! <laughs> putting this on, you won't find a lineup harder. And if Eric starts doing me wrong, this footage is gonna have to be heavily edited in the final master, because I'll cut this little cunt cleaner than Kyla Barber. <laughs> Time! It's time! Let go is where it was, yo. What's going on, Aero? Hey! 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 What's going on, Arrows? You're looking a bit scared, bro. Who resurrected this half child, half man choke? I'm gonna start pulling on strings like Rambo, sending verbal arrows at your damn throat. Your crown fell off years ago. You ain't no king, you're a pharaoh. The idea of looking up to this fucking midget is a rare joke. I'll crush this, I'll crush this piece of trash like canned coke. After this crucifixion, I'll stick his bare bones in my yard, arms wide like a scarecrow while I continue to land blows. Burn. I'm four battles deep, facing one of our vets. I can't tell if they've lost all faith in you or if I'm making Greeley and Dunners now sweat. I, I told Chazza I'd send him packing to the UK. Ask that cunt to drop location and figure out how it went. See, Rossi was just a fun clash with a mate, but I still deflated that ego fucking popping out his chest. Mr. Rockman was third. That was one for the ages. He's a proper lyricist. We were throwing punches in places that would make you run from the stages with your head and your hands to cover your two faces. <laughs> but this guy's fucking hungry, though. That type of hunger to make your knees weak. The only reason Aero's rocked up tonight is he thought that breaking bread was a free fee. <laughs> Show is Master Chef. Cunt plays it on repeat. Just praying for the day that they make 4D TV screens. <laughs> you, 
You must have had a crack at a palate with some lentils. Stomach ache tapping on a dish of continental. Never got a proper feed, so I had to tick it like a rental. If I tried to ankle tap him, I'd just kick him in the temple. <laughs> Stunted. I ain't talking about your height, I'm talking about your music and I'm talking about your height. I could talk about some true shit, I could talk about your life. I bet you're feeling like a nuisance when you walk around at night. Wondering why your bright career ahead turned to seem short. Trying to ramp it up with thrust, but trust you need talk. This cock's career in the pit like it's been torched. You're about to become the definition of D-Corpse. <laughs> Yeah, hold it. Just like me, yeah, hold it down. Yeah. Anyway. Yo, short. Er yeah, I mean, clearly. <laughs> Hello, what in the Jerry Smear is happening? Come on. <laughs> Eric, I know you're somewhat new to this battle ring, and we've already seen what Ruckman and Chazza did. We from two different walks of life. You can't see, but you can imagine it. Now, it's another caliber you have to battle with. Because where I come from, is full of animals and savages. This kid will be flipping out on what he's seeing like an acid trip if I took him for one day into my neighborhood on some Spanian shit. <laughs> Yo, the lads are having straight panicking, stuttering and stammering, praying like an Anglican. Eric will be giving shaky responses but barely managing. It wouldn't take much to have this fake cunt vanishing. I'll cancel him, pistol whip until civilians are having vigils with the candles lit. I'm cancerous. Spill your, ink, spill your blood over the wall like a vandal's ink. I'll strangle him and dangle him over the balcony on some Michael Jackson shit. I'm a smooth criminal. I'm a smooth criminal, but fuck what Eric writes. I'm giving off some death row vibes. So you better step aside or get left to die like Eric Wright. Yes! It's too easy. And, 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 yeah. It's too easy. And now you're looking petrified. You already signed on the dotted line. Now the Reaper's coming. It's collection time. And I said, uh, really? Yeah. I love you. <laughs> but seriously, yeah. look what you did to your brother. Because I already beat one scrub and now they give me another? <laughs> Well, cheers, cunt. Go fix me a cuppa, you little fucker. <laughs> Second verse Get it, bro. You, you, cool. you short, hairy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a wombat that got hit by a drunken fist. But these bad words from a black sheep landed you up in a sunken ship. Left with no choice but to stomp this cunt with bars in a clump and spit. How the fuck did I go from Mr. Ruckman to battling Mr. Ruckman's dick? <laughs> This headline spot when Scrub washed you five years ago. Like, really, bro? You hype, real, and joke. You should either run from this scene right now or go and hide in Greeley's toes. Because oh. I started researching your battles about two weeks ago. And after relearning your style, there's something you need to know. Literally and figuratively, you are just too keen to grow. After three rounds of this bloke talking shit, I bet that his true beast will show. And that's no compliment. You ain't real. You're a top actor. But you need to fucking learn that a win don't come from shock factor. Racism, oh. rape jokes, and taking digs at people's families calling them shots at your ops only proves your pen game is just like you. It ain't got stature. Whoa. And look bro, I can't blame you. That was all that you knew. But I'll show you how to battle just by talking the truth. So respect where it's due, but I can't walk in your shoes because these future generations getting caught in the loop. While you squawk in a booth and keep ignoring the views, portrayed by this persona, keep a thought for the youth. Do you want to be remembered being awkwardly gruesome, warping the truth, or as a bloke who stood staunch and refused to follow toxic trends that were set by his predecessors? Because that shit's already been done, cunt, and it's been regretted. You're older than me and still don't see the lessons because I ain't doing none of that and still I keep them guessing. What? <laughs> Oh, 
after this, you'll get no rest till next week. Trying to unwind, too stressed to get sleep. Flashbacks, you won't forget that you get beat. Lesson learned, cunt, don't sweat the technique. <laughs> If you haven't noticed yet, Eric, you're only one dimensional. Now make me turn this joke into a vegetable, because this bloke is really spectacle. How did I know he was going to come from the high road with what's socially acceptable? <laughs> I said, and I, I mean, of course he did. I mean, I, I took a long rest from this battle shit, but now that I've awoken, Eric, your time is chosen. Now you're in the final moments of your life before your eyes are closed, and I'll tie a rope around his throat and yank that cunt until his spine is broken, or, or grab a knife to slash him twice to hear the sound he makes when I slice him open. I said, I'm just joking, but how you're getting these battles is beyond me. Because I've seen his battle with Chazza, I've seen his battle with C. Rossi. Now I think this cunt might need speech pathology, because every second bar seems sloppy and he was choking up and couldn't speak properly. Oh. Giggling after every bar. Had him looking like a fan now. Every game packing out room so in this battle it didn't have to be you. But look at how it's panned out. Yeah. Because I've battled internationals. This is practically a handout. I'm showing him the difference between a stand-in and somebody that stands out. Oh. Cause I'm outstanding. Every punch thrown is now landing. This guy is not gay today, but he's into weird shit like anal play and mouth gagging. <laughs> and I ain't king shaman, but I'm infamous. Fuck it. I'll punch him in his cheeks and have his shit breaking. Fucking around with Brad, you realize I'm insane. Now fuck that shit. If he comes fucking around, I hit him with his shit, Brad. I got a six pack. Fuck it. This fist lad will hook your chin back and watch that shit crack. Mm. Fuck it. The impact is all some different shit. This idiot is a definition of insolence. I'm gonna kill him quick and get rid of him. Fuck it. Show him what I'm killing it. My flow's so crazy, I'm showing and giving you my due diligence. I'm killing him. The freestyle steez, cause he can't eat my D's. I rewind these freestyles. I'm like a three wise man, but he can't even beat my steez. I'm crazy. Bring it in like if he rewind. These, I'm killing every freestyle jeans when I remind me. Hello, listen. I'm gonna fire it up, like really, but fuck it, it's like Fight Club. Don't talk about the rules because every single time this guy is done. Mm. I'm realizing that my time is up and the fucking my hype ain't done, but I think I'm done with this battle shit, so shout outs to every cun. My time is up. Yeah. Yeah. I already know I'm the underdog in this battle. Everybody's been saying this. Arrows has been here over a decade, but he was just a dodgy kid spraying shit. All you got is single entendres and graphic lyrics just to paint your pick. Off the dome, the cunt's dope, but to prep for this, I bet you sprained your wrist. You can take your pick. Head first in the battles of music, I'll keep winning. Cunt, I can do it all, and I bet that your teeth gritting. He drops sus shit in every battle he's been in. To me, you're just the Oz rap version of P. Diddy. Now, you can lie and choose to deny. Your roots as a guy who'd shoot with a skies Choosing a fight with unusually minded, rudely disguised Brutal designs of crude insight that you shoot when you rhyme But I know it's a reflection of that dude that's inside Trying to overcome doubt in your dubious mind Better call your inner demons, get your troops in a line Cause all this wasted ammo that you've used on Divine is fucking useless tonight It's just sticks and stones You're just a facade of tricks and clones Of every other battle rapper that you've kicked with bro And no doubt that your name in this district's known But that ain't for nothing but an awkward gimmick This battle ain't been nothing but a torture clinic. In 1920, you'd be forced to live in a fucking traveling circus as their four foot midget. <laughs> Otherwise, you would just be miserable and reckless. With a sunburnt face, there's no difference to contend with between arrows and a stuffy stiffy when erected. <laughs> cunt! <laughs> Wait, cunt, you've been inconsistent. I just stay correct. Even your fans wish that you would take your meds. On any set or stage, I'll be taking heads. If it's King of the Dot or fucking Breaking Bread, let's go! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for that fucking battle!